time for the latest installment of Change My Mind, where we rationalize our positions on controversial issues. Now, given the recent news, we decided to revisit abortion, and this go around, a lot of notable interactions took place. So, first now, of all, what's your name? Aaron. Aaron. Hi. Nice to meet you, Aaron. Nice Steven. to meet you. So, um, pretty simple today. I'm pro-life across the board, obviously, with the. Uh, That's uh, a great opinion. The, Okay, so okay. Well, I see you're, you're hostile right there. You just said I'm going to take you on, and you, you seem a little upset. Um, what yeah, is it I about just my think position it's that bizarre you that? Yeah, because you're talking about the legality of it. It's not just your opinion on it, right? No, I'm talking about the, the morality of it. Okay, well, yeah. it's my own body. Mm -hmm. I'm a woman. If I don't have the don't want to give birth, abortion to me is just like forced to miscarriage. Mm -hmm. To you. Yeah. So that's that's a great opinion. But to I'm use trying to term. convince you. Right. Uh, but that is an opinion. Uh, what if it's not your body? If it's not my body, it's not my business. Okay. So if that baby inside your womb is not your body, it's an autonomous human being, mm -hmm. then you don't have the right to kill it. Why? Do you, you don't have I'm the right sorry. to kill any, anyone else. Fetus is not conscious. Okay. It's not, especially since legally, yeah, you can't abort up to nine months. It's when the first trimester. No, you can. Yeah, you can. Legally? Yeah. Well, that's stupid. Well, but well I'm I mean, glad we find some common ground there. It, yeah. You disagree with Andrew before you. Well, I mean, up to nine months, that baby's about to pop. I think it would be fine if that baby, you know, was, well, about to die in the first few minutes. Okay. There's no point anyways. Mm -hmm. So. But well, this is something that happens a lot. People bring up an extreme example like rape incest or uh, the baby's about to die to make a point. Sounds to me like you support abortion regardless. Yeah. Okay, so let's not even, uh, that, that doesn't matter so much. I guess what it comes down to is, what do you define as personhood? You said it's my body, my choice. Yeah. But if there's a baby inside of you that is in fact not your body, uh, oh, then it's, it's not your choice. it's my body. Okay, how so? Yeah, because it's my f***ing blood. Like that child is half my blood. So if someone, it's gets, my body, if it's someone my DNA. gets a blood, if you give a blood transfusion to someone else, do you now own their body? It's like DNA, man. It's, like, it's actually it's not. Genetics. Yeah, do you, know, do you know when a new genetic DNA is formed? A whole new genetic code? So you're saying your I could give blood to you and you'd be my son? No, no, what I'm saying is that at the moment of conception, there's entirely new DNA formed. Not your DNA, not the father's DNA. It's DNA of an entirely new human being that defines everything from eye color to height to male pattern baldness. But it's still half my DNA. But that, go, your DNA. that went into it. Sure. Yeah. So then by that logic, as long as it's, it's a portion of your my DNA, child. it would be okay to abort a nine month old child, a two year old child, because it's your DNA. How can you abort a two-year-old child? Kill it. That's not the same. Well, I'm just trying to understand what you define as personhood and what gives you the right to terminate a life that isn't your own. You're saying because a portion of it is your DNA? Consciousness, experience. Okay, consciousness. Yes. Okay, so you believe what determines personhood is consciousness. That child is not gonna know anything. I just wanna make sure we understand here. Um, yeah. Let, let me allow you to, how do you define a person, a human being? What makes us people? What makes us human? What well, makes us human? Well, yeah. What the human define? experience, like just like I said earlier, it's the experience. Okay. We're all friggin' humans. We're all made up of the same kind of DNA. You know, you look at you and you look at me. We're both human. Cool. But what makes us a person, mm -hmm. a personhood, is our own experiences. Okay. You know, nature versus nurture, all that psychology. Sure. sure. Yeah. So well, if, if someone, let's say, um, has Alzheimer's dementia or someone is born with severe brain damage or doesn't have functioning limbs, they're not necessarily entirely conscious of the world around them, mm -hmm. uh, they're not able to develop relationships, does that make them not a person, not a human being? Um, no. I'm, okay. well, I'm, I'm going by the definition of consciousness. If someone is unconscious, yeah. do they cease to be a person? Can you kill them? No. Why not? Because it's unconscious, it's not experience. What if someone has never had any experiences? I've known people, I've worked with people with special needs who are not able to experience the outside world. Right? We, throw, we use the term but autism is thrown in the spectrum. went day by day, experienced mm -hmm. every hour, every minute. Okay. They experienced that. Okay. It's not just interpersonal things. It's sure. not just, I mean, even if somebody had, wasn't able to experience the world, couldn't mm -hmm. leave their home, they still experienced what it was like to eat, what it was like to drink, what it was like to, I don't know, read a book, mm -hmm. see the TV, look outside the window. Experience pain. Yes. A beating heart, hearing their mother's voice. Mm -hmm. Would these not count as hum human experiences? 
Oh yeah, it does. Okay, so then it's a human that you're killing. Mm-hmm. And you're okay with it. That hasn't had any experience. How we just agreed that those are experiences. Yeah, but that child doesn't can, so it's, like, it's, retain it's, it's any the, of that. It's Well, neither does a one-year-old, neither does a two-month-old baby. So I'm trying to get to the point, when does it become okay to end a life? At what point is there enough retention of memory for it to be okay for you to kill that, that, mm. that other living being? When it's not born. When it's not born? Yeah. Okay, so here we go. So now we're talking about location. A person ceases to be a person depending on location, inside or outside the womb. So mm -hmm. it seems to me that you would support abortion up to nine months. If it was necessary, yeah. No, not if it was necessary. Going by the definition of personhood according to your own logic. Man, that's just semantics. No, it's not. You have, yeah, it is. You're, you just said that a per you said up until it's born, it's, yeah. it's not a person. <laughs> so then what's the problem with aborting a baby up to nine months then? Earlier you said that wouldn't be okay. It's not a person. It depends on the situation. How so? Man. No, I'm really, I'm curious, how so? I'll tell you, do you want me to explain my position? The only consistent Please. line of logic to define what makes it, when a human being is formed is at conception, because that's when entirely new, unique DNA is formed. Mm -hmm. Consciousness isn't consistent as we've, uh, as we've gone through. Um, viability, as we went through with Andrew, is not a consistent uh, trail of logic. And uh, location, you don't cease to be a person if you're in that library or out of that library. You don't cease to be a person if you're in the womb or seven inches outside. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see your point, but that doesn't mean that I shouldn't be able to get an abortion if I, it was so necessary. It certainly does. It certainly does. If we agree that that's a person, then you shouldn't be able to take the life of another person. Mm. You can never take the life of another person. You can wave your hand around as much as you want, right, with your own body unless it hits me in the face. You can't take the life of another human being. Sure I can. Okay, we disagree. I don't think you can kill another human being. Okay. Thank I you guess I wasn't able to convince you. No, I, I, I'm, I'm really, uh, I, I'm compelled, but I, I, I don't understand your consistency of logic here. You said you were against nine-month-old abortions, but then you said, well, until it's born, it's not really a person. So um, now you just said it's, you think it's okay to kill another human being as long as it's in the womb. You acknowledge it's a human being and you think it's okay to kill it because you want to. That's mm -hmm. not going to convince me. What it's would fine. you what would you present to convince me otherwise, I guess? Well, you don't I mean, we talked about those extreme experiences that people have, the rape, sure. you know, needing to do all those things. I guess if you were in my shoes mm -hmm. and you were a broke college student who got raped, mm -hmm and you know was disowned by her family because they were super religious and they didn't accept that i like the editorializing here but mm -hmm. yes go yeah. on i'm just putting a story together okay um then you would be okay with bringing that child into the world and not even be able being able to provide for it not being able to give it any kind of health care if that child got sick it would die anyways because it wouldn't get you know vaccines what if that child it wouldn't get vaccines? Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm confused. Child's are, you gonna die. Me, are you asking me, would I be okay with you bringing that? And you couldn't that? get vaccines because you might not be able to afford health care. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't agree with the premise. So two things. First off, you bring up an extreme example to make a point. Sounds to yeah. me like you don't really care about rape or incest. You support abortion anyway. In the sense that it doesn't matter to you as it relates to abortion. So if I were to agree to, let's say, okay, in all cases of rape or incest, abortion for all, would you agree with all of the cases, no abortion? Uh, yeah. You would? Yeah. So if there were only an exception for rape and incest, you would make, uh, you would agree that abortion in every other instance would be immoral and should be illegal? No. Okay, well then why bring it up? <laughs> now, as it relates to uh, the story that you're painting here with religious parents who excommunicate you and, and, and don't help you uh, yep. because you've gotten pregnant and you've been raped, I think that's horrible. Oh, it's I, horrible. I do think that would be a horrible story and my heart would go out to women so like that. So you would, if you were in that situation, and yes, it is an extreme, mm -hmm. but to put you in that extreme, yeah. what would you do? Well, I of course wouldn't abort the baby. So what would you do then? After you've given birth to the baby, what would you do? Yeah, I guess without abortion, what choices mm -hmm. are present? Uh, I support four other choices. Abstinence, contraception, motherhood adoption. In the case of rape, a very, very small extreme example, as we both acknowledged, you have motherhood or adoption. Mm -hmm. I just don't support the choice that would involve killing a child. I think that's pretty consistent. I think you have a good opinion. 
I, I guess if you believe it's I an opinion, yeah. I, I think I it's important to scientifically determine where a life begins, and I, I don't think that you've given that much thought. And I think that's the crux of all of this. Is obviously, if we acknowledge that's a human life, but it seems as though you have, you're just okay with terminating it. Mm -hmm. People who are looking to make headway with people who are pro-life, they would have to present some kind of an argument that would prove prove that this is not a human being, that it's not a person. But when you say it is a person, it is a human being, I don't care anyway, I have the right to kill another human being as you've presented, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be on board, but I, I appreciate you sitting down. Well, there you have it, another installment of what I would consider mostly uh, productive discussions. Did anything here surprise you? Were the views more extreme, more reasoned, more moderate? Let me know in the comments below and stay tuned for the next installment.